was quite worried about uh, meeting you because you are like a hero. Uh, do you feel like a hero? No, I feel embarrassed sometimes. It's, do you really? Which I said to your wife sometimes, you know. Yeah. Everybody came uh -huh. and you comes up to greet you and turn around and, and speak. I'm, I'm no more the hero than than a lot more people because mm -hmm. people have gone through a lot more different things than me. Yeah. There's the soldiers in Afghanistan and different places like that. So uh -huh. I don't always say that I'm a hero. Yeah. I turn out I'm embarrassed because <laughs> at times when people keep showing up and yeah. turn out. And Is this um, because at the time you were just doing a job? Well, it was just a job. Yes. Turn around and I mean, you're young. Yeah. You're 17, 18. Uh -huh. And what do you know? Not a lot. No. And what do you care? Not a lot. Not a lot. You mm -hmm. never thought of dying. No. You'll turn around probably past my mind sometime. The only time I thought I was going to die uh -huh. was in a storm. Yeah. You know, when I thought we were going to go down mm. and not come back up out of one of these waves again. Yes. And, you know, <laughs> and that's the only frightening thing that I had. Yeah. But that's for... It was the elements as opposed to the, enemy. The elements of turning yeah. uh, cold weather and... Uh -huh. We know rough seas, you just took them in your stride. Yes. That was all in the day's work. Uh -huh. But yeah. to come around, be, it's gratefulness as I said, and mm -hmm. told the wife, I give you, you go to London yeah. and everybody's grateful for you. you yeah. know, and it's something you can't explain. Mm -hmm. People want to come and talk to you. They want yes. to turn and, you yeah. know, and it. it, it <laughs> I don't feel like a hero, but I don't say that go away. No. I, I love talking to people. That's right, yeah. And turn in and, and when they, they come up with their young children uh -huh. and then they ask you questions, the youngsters, mm. I think that's that's more pleasing than anything. Yes, when the children... Yeah, when ask the children the ask you, yeah. because yeah. They're, they're knowing uh -huh. history. Mm. And it's modern history, really. We yes. all work at school in mm -hmm. history, which are all ancient history. Yeah. There's nothing modern about history today. No, very, very they little. don't teach you like really no. what's going on in the world. No. I think if they did that, you know, yeah. probably it might be a better place. Yes. And I don't know. Uh -huh. I left school at 14 and then I turned around and got a job. I turned around and I went part-time in the fire service, then I went full-time in the fire service. Mm -hmm. and then I got itchy feet and turned around and just before I was 18, we decided we'd go and join the RAF. But the RAF didn't want us because we were too young. So my friend and I, we went into the recruiting office and we turned around and we signed up for the Navy. That's how I come to join the Navy. Mm -hmm. After a few weeks, I had me calling up papers uh, to go down to HMS Ganges, which I did my shore base training. Once I'd done my shore base training, I went to Chatham. And from Chatham, then, I turned around and picked my first draft up, which was the destroyer HMS Walker. It was a very old ship when I turned around and seen it. I turned around and it was hard laying ship which they gave you extra money because they was old and everything was water on it and everything. But mm -hmm. my first journey then was up to Scotland where we, uh, being a new crew, we had to turn and all get together and find out which jobs we was all doing, which was called working up. After working up I went to Londonderry. And then we turned around and we docked at Londonderry and then I ran from Londonderry to Gibraltar and on escort duties with convoys. I done three of those and then we went then to Scotland. Mm -hmm. <coughs> then we got fitted out with cold weather gear and so then we knew that we were going to Russia. 
So then we turned out and I was the beginning of my Arctic convoys. The Arctic convoys started pretty easy, mm -hmm. but as the year went on, weather changed. Yeah. Seas changed. Seas were that horrendous that you couldn't see out the top. Yeah. And when the force of the waves hit the bows, you thought you wasn't going back up again. <laughs> but you did. Yeah. And then turned around and I'd done so many journeys then to Russia then in, we lost one officer overboard. Uh -huh. He was coming from the wardroom to the bridge and he got swept overboard with rough seas. Mm. Never to be seen again. Yeah. We turned around then carried on our interviews and turned around and we then went backwards and forwards from Gorok to Scapa Flow, picked up the convoy, convoy to Russia. We used to go up to the Kola Inlet, we used to go up to Poliano, and we used to turn down and unload all the convoys at Poliano and wait then for a return journey. We did this about six, seven times, so, you know, sometimes weather was worse than others. Sometimes you had to chip the ice off, yeah. which you had a rope round you and mm. you go on the forecastle and had a chipping hammer and turned out and started chipping ice off. Mm. But uh, nobody thought no more of it. You was young yeah. and you didn't think about dying. No. You knew you could die, but you never thought about it, sort mm. of thing. But it was very cold. Yeah. The gear you got in them days wouldn't like it is now. It was just an old duffel coat, okay. sea boots, stockings, mm -hmm. and sea boots, and probably a woolly hat. But we turned out, and we came out of Poliano there, typical convoy up, and all of a sudden we had a report there that a ship had been torpedoed. Mm -hmm. And we steamed to this ship that had been torpedoed. It was a freighter called. Thomas Hayter, mm -hmm. and on board that ship was a load of Russian sailors, yeah. and they were coming back to England, taking passage on there to pick up the Royal Sovereign, which we were going to give up. Mm -hmm. There were so many lost, and we picked up 43. We picked up 22, and HMS Whitehall picked up 21. Mm -hmm. So we had those on board. We also had 12 Yanks on board yeah. because that turn out and just took up a cruiser called HMS Missouri and they presented that to the Russian Navy. So of course we was a bit overcrowded coming back. But nevertheless that was one of the incidents we had. Mm -hmm. There are lots of incidents as you go along like because once you got off the coast of Norway yeah. you had the aircraft. That's nothing. Mm -hmm. turn out you had the aircraft come in and you've still got your submarines to look after. Yeah. So you were sweeping all the time and looking mm -hmm. for aircraft. Yeah. Which with weather, you just took it as it were. Mm -hmm. They say all right, northern lights. They were <laughs> nice to look at. You know, but <laughs> in the wrong perspective. Mm. <laughs> but we got past all these journeys safely, so we couldn't crumble. No. Uh, we turned out, morale was good, mm -hmm. the Russian people were good the other side where we got there, very friendly, very poor, mm -hmm. got nothing like we had, I suppose. But then again, we turned out and we went on shore and had a little kick about with the football, and that was it. Mm. Back again pick up another convoy, back again, return to Russia, pick up another convoy. And that's how you went. Yeah. But with the horrendous seas, mm. it's impossible to describe them sometimes because mm. you that's when you were frightened because yeah. you didn't know whether you were gonna you were gonna yes. sink. Yeah. We hit one storm which was turned in one of the worst storms in the Arctic. Yeah. They turned out, uh, the convoy was dispersed. Mm. 
They were blue all over the place. Yeah. We was left to load like a lot more. And with the crushing of the waves, it bent the stanchions in the mast deck. Yeah. So you can tell now, you being a sailor, yeah. you know what a stanchion is. Mm. So the, desk, the folks were always caving in. So anyway, we turned over and thought, well, we was making for the Faroe Islands. Mm -hmm. But we wasn't. We was nearer Iceland. So we mm. took into Iceland. Where well, Iceland then they turn and shoulders the bows on that up yeah. with big timbers. Mm. And that's how we turned and stayed yeah. until the end of the war. Good grief. We still kept sailing with these big timbers yeah. propping the deck up. <laughs> but we left Russian convoys then to go to D Day. Mm. And we went to D Day. We turned out took the Americans over to D-Day, mm -hmm. to the, the beach. After that we turned out and we came back and done patrol service and then we went back and then we went back on Arctic convoys. And of course that was getting then to the end of the war. Mm. So we ceased then, when the war finished, the ship went into Derry yeah. and then we turned out and started to pay the ship off. So we went up to Newcastle, mm -hmm. over in Furness, and turned out and paid the ship off there. Mm -hmm. So I was one about the last to leave, but it was a happy ship. Yeah. You know, a very happy ship. Mm -hmm. A lot of memories yes. and a lot of things going on. Mm -hmm. And that's all I can turn out and tell you about how much Thank you. What sort of things did the, um, the convoys carry? The convoys carried everything from tanks to food. Yeah? Yes, everything. Mm -hmm. Armoured, guns, you name it. The convoys took everything up that the Russians wanted. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, they lost quite a lot though, didn't they? Oh, yes. I mean, you, know. you lost a lot. To turn yeah. in. There wasn't too many ships lost, but there's incidents when there were a lot lost. Yeah. And then you was lucky if you... I think I was one of the lucky ones because mm -hmm. I did all those journeys and, and got never, away never with got it. Never a scratch. Yeah. Got, got away with it, uh -huh. as you say. You know. Well, that's right. That's, that's, that's the luck of the game, I suppose. It luck is, of the I draw. suppose. It, yes. We were yes. in the right place at the right time, mm -hmm. where some of them got torpedoed. Yeah. We missed them. We turned out we were still chasing them. Mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, right. then... I came back after the war then and turned out and came back into Civvy Street. Mm -hmm. A bit of difference there then. Yeah. Yeah. I'll yeah. turn out and I don't know whether I wish I'd have stayed yeah. in, in the Navy. Yeah. Or what. Uh, but well. yeah, I'll so turn out and I was a volunteer. I was a, mm -hmm. an HO, which means so hostilities right. only. Yes. So, uh -huh. I mean, I wasn't signing on for regular. No. Mm. Yeah. But... Uh, I had an interesting life. Yes. Very interesting. Uh -huh. Met some nice people. Mm -hmm. Big friendly people. Yeah. Wherever you went. Mm -hmm. And since the war, you can't, I can't grumble at no. the Russians. Uh -huh. I see from your, from your jacket you've got um, lots of medals. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, I turn out I've got. A load of stars that are yeah. and then different campaigns. Oh, are they? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then there's the Defence Medal and then there's the Central Service Medal. Mm -hmm. and as, so I joined up in 43, so yeah, I do, was yeah. entitled to uh, come in at 43. Oh, I see. To yeah. get the 43 uh -huh. medal, like, you know. Oh, right. To, mm -hmm. A lot of people didn't get. No. No, the ones that came in afterwards, obviously yeah. not, but, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. But when I first, first met then, mm -hmm. where do I turn around and they wouldn't give us a medal at first, uh, English people. No. They gave us a little badge. Mm -hmm. Turn yeah. around and you could buy them for, over the counter for a shilling, I suppose. Oh dear. Well, yeah, they're no, not very big, not, they weren't, you know. Really, you know, like no. these pin badges yeah. they sell. I know what you mean. It yeah. was like that. And sure, of course, everybody complained about it. Well, yeah. And then the government turned around and well, the Navy man took it off, mm -hmm. and then in the end, 
they gave us a medal. They did, yes. They gave us a medal. But they wouldn't give us, that. the Russians give us a medal mm. because they didn't give us one. The Australians, yeah. Canadians and all the rest could have this Kushkov medal. Oh, right, yeah. But we couldn't. <laughs> they stopped it. Pathetic. They turned yeah. down because uh -huh. they turned down and said something. But they hadn't given us a medal in their own right. But after that, I mm. went to London and turned down. I'll show you the photographs and yeah. turned down. Admiral Leach, he turned down. He, he gave us the, the, the Arctic Convoy Medal, British. Mm. Yeah. And then turn in. The following year, I went to London mm -hmm. to uh, the 9th of May mm -hmm. and turn in. And then we went on HMS Belfast. Oh, yeah. And there I was presented with the Yuskov medal. Mm. That was by the Russian ambassador gave me that. And I turned in. So then. Mm -hmm. That completed the the set, like, yes. you know, pretty well. Uh -huh. And then this time now, I just turned out and got the 60th anniversary medal yeah. from the Russians. Mm -hmm. But they are very good. Yeah. The people you can't fault. No. When we've been up to London, mm -hmm. and the youngsters are very interested in what you do, and yeah. what you did. Mm -hmm. Young girls, as much as young boys. As a young boy, I'd turn, think, well, he's, you know, of myself, I was thinking of myself. And he joined the ATC, he's in the Air Force Cadets. Yeah. And he's been up in a plane. That's right, yeah. Yeah, and he turned around and he said, then I said, you're flying solo. And he turned around and the pilot cut the <laughs> engine out and he said, oh, the engine's failed. And he said, it frightened me to death. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Playing a joke on him. Mm. But as I say, you can't beat the friendship that you get on May the 9th, no mm -hmm. matter where you go. Yeah. And the hospitality is out of this world. Mm. Uh -huh. right. and I, th I think, yeah. you know, I think that said as much as I can tell you in the moment. Mm. But I'd like you to look at a few things now. Yes, okay. You probably well, get a few more Just, just one of the um, details. Do you, do you keep in contact with um, any of the people that you've served with? Do you remember? Oh, yeah, I still, oh, well, after 70 years, when I went to London to pick up my Arctic medal, mm -hmm. they called their names out, and they called your ship out. They called Albert Fowler. HMS Walker, and they called Leslie Perks, HMS Walker. Yeah. And now we turn and we got together, uh -huh. and I'll show you photographs of him, which he gave me years ago, mm -hmm. and turned and, and he was the man that took her with a little box camera on board. Yeah. And he turned and, and we hadn't met for 70 years. <laughs> we left the ship in 1945. Mm -hmm. And I hadn't seen Albert again till that day. Yeah. So we turned and of course we had a little celebration drink. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Afterwards. Yeah. And we keep in touch. You do? Yeah, we keep in touch. Uh -huh. We went down to Eastbourne mm -hmm. to a reunion. We had a weekend together down there. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then we went somewhere else. And then of course we meet on May the 9th mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. That's the fellow I was trying to get hold of you. Yes. But he kept... He kept disappearing. <laughs> turn out. Yeah. Oh, but, sorry. If, if, is there anything else? Like, you know, you turn mm. out and just ask me and I'll, I'll try yeah. to answer it to the best I can. Yes. Uh, you know, when you was on this Russian convoys and you actually got to Russia, did you drink any vodka while you was there? No. No? No. Not allowed? No. No? No. Oh. Whether I got any or not, I don't know. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah. Probably not, because I, I was so poor. I mean, yeah. the, the people that worked on the docks and, uh -huh. and that were ladies. Were they? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of them was women that turned out and worked, you know, mm -hmm. 
I'd load in and load in and yeah. all in stuff about, like, you know. Oh, right. A lot of heavy work, I Yeah. Did. A lot of heavy work. Yeah. During the wartime, um, were your, your parents were, were living then, were they? Yes. Yes, and did you actually send any money home to them? I do, yes. You did, you, oh, like mulch of pay and sort of thing, yeah. I'd turn around. I made a lot lot to my mum and dad. Yeah. Because they've got no money. Ah. Not I for see. me to save. No. No, because they're. Just to help them with their keep. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh. Could be dad. Mm. My dad worked on the railway. Oh, did he? Yeah. He was, he was a wheel tapper. Uh huh. I turned out there wasn't a lot of pay. No. I mean, my mum, when I was a young lad. Uh huh. We got nothing. No. I mean, uh, what you would say, your, your, I suppose, like your trousers, more yeah, or less, yeah, like, you know. Yeah, yeah. But I had shoes with holes in, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Trousers with holes in. Yeah, as you do. Yeah. Of course, and I was the youngest of nine. Well, yeah. So, like, you know, when it came to me, <laughs> there was all left. Worn, yeah. It was all worn out. <laughs> yeah, not a lot but left. <laughs> my mum used to turn around work as a laundry hand. Oh yeah, yeah. In a hand laundry, uh -huh. and she'd work all day for about fourpence. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. Four pence. Oh, for about four pennies mm. or six pennies. Yeah. And then she'd come out from there, mm. and she'd probably go to the shop. And she'd buy probably half a loaf uh -huh. and half a margarine. Yeah. And then that sixpence would be gone. More or less, you know. Yeah. But, uh, uh, mm. you, you probably you, a luxury, I mean, you never had butter, that was a luxury. Ooh, you yeah. turn out, yeah. you might have dripping. Well, yeah. Yeah, it turned out that was a luxury in some respects. Mm. But you'd get that from a butcher. Yeah. And uh, for, for eat meat. Like, you know, you had all knack of mutton or whatever it is, and a yeah. stew in That's right, shin of beef and stuff, yeah. And that turned out used to be on two or three days, like, you know, but... Yeah. Never went hungry. No, the food was but, always uh, there, but... You know, turned out... Yeah. But we hadn't got any money, and... Mm. Not, not for yeah. ages we never had any money. No, no. I, I turned out, and when I first left school at uh -huh. 14, I turned out... I went to work and I got, only got nine shillings a week. Yeah. Yeah, quite a yeah. 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 And out of that nine shillings a week, I had to buy my bus fare to Warwick because I worked mm. at Warwick. Uh huh. Yeah. And turned around and I said I'd like a bike, so <laughs> I turned around mm. and you can have a bike, all right. Mm. That was one and six a week. Wow. <laughs> I turned around and Cost yeah. about three pounds sixteen. Uh -huh. So with that, I didn't have no pocket money then. No, a lot. No. <laughs> yeah, it was to pay me bus fare. But oh, when no. I wanted a bike, I know that was it. You no, didn't want it. You yeah. didn't want it. So it was, well, you can't have it both ways. Well, no, I suppose not. Uh, well, no. You know, yeah. but we always got by. My daddy turned in. He repaired uh -huh. shoes. Oh, did he? Yeah. Yeah, and he turned in, and he, he chopped wood, and I used to take wood drains and. People to oh, the yeah. uh -huh. for their fire lighting, like you yeah. know, because oh, kindling. everybody had got yeah. everybody had got coal fires in that days. Right. Yeah. And, uh, so you know, it mm. used to go around and take a bag of wood for about threepence or something like that. But, uh, yeah. 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 Uh, yes, times a, change. Yeah. They, they were good days, and but they was hard days. Yeah. They had hard lives. Mm. I really did have a hard lives. But nobody so complained too much. Yeah. They didn't really complain that much. Nobody complained. No, because everybody was, no, was in the same boat. There's no, everybody was in the same boat. Yeah. Everybody, you, you didn't have to lock your door. That's very true. The doors yeah. were all unlocked because mm. there was nothing in there for anybody to take. That's right. Your neighbours used to come in and don't... Is that wandering? Do you want a cup of tea? Yeah, all right. My <laughs> mum used to read teacups. A tea? Yeah. yeah. Oh. They all used to come down. My uh. mum to read teacups. <laughs> and if she'd say anything there she didn't like, she wouldn't tell them. No. And I'd say, what's the matter, man? What are you looking at? <laughs> oh, no, nothing. It's all right. 
<laughs> but, uh, yeah. I mean, it, it, big friendship because mm. everybody was in the same boat. Yes. There was no rich and no poor. Uh -huh. It was either poor or you was either rich. Yeah, there was and the rich between. lived with the rich and the poor lived with the poor. Yeah. It was a big, big dividing line. But then then after, after the war, things changed quite a lot, yeah, didn't they? Yeah. yeah. I so think the turn out the trouble was and all, mm. that, you know, when I got married, like, you know, uh -huh. turn out, I didn't get big money then because no. it wasn't big money about. Mm. Mm -hmm. But I all spot the kids. Yeah. And I think it was the worst thing we ever done <laughs> because you said, well, I never had it, you know. I so never you had can it, have you it. can have it, yeah. You know, who turned in. Yeah. And I think that was probably the worst thing we ever mm. done. We, yeah. we spoiled them. Uh -huh. Spoiled the children. I, I, I'll give my due with my kids. Mm. I've yeah. no regrets with them. Uh -huh. They turn in and they're well behaved. Yeah. My boy's well behaved. <laughs> he's, 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 he's 50 odd now, but. Mm. He'll still call some people Mr. And they turn and say, No, you know what my name is Ian. <laughs> yeah. say, yes, Mr. So and so. I say, it's, it's an habit well, that's of politeness. That's the way you brought up, isn't it? It's a habit of politeness you never get out of. Yeah. But I don't <laughs> think there's anything to being rude, do you? No, really. You know. No. And my Just girls, what my people. girls into cadets. Yeah. Was the best thing I ever did. Was it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because mm. my oldest girl, she. Lives away. She lives down in. She lives down in uh, Caister now. Caister, yeah, just down by the lifeboat station. Uh -huh. And she turned out and she joined cadets as a young girl, mm. and she finished up CO of the unit. Really? Yeah. yeah. Until she left. Oh. Yeah. She... You got married um, during during the war time, yes? No, I got married after the war. After. Yeah, 1952. Oh. Yeah. oh. Yeah. Well, things had, had improved somewhat by then, I think. Yeah. yeah. Well, I turned out we courted for quite a while. Oh, did it? Yeah. Yeah. I turned out I got to know the wife was through mm -hmm. uh, her brother. Oh, yeah. Her brother was a friend of mine, uh -huh. a mate of mine, and he was in the Marines. Oh. Mm. So we used to knock around together. Yeah. And that's how I met her. Uh -huh. And we courted for ages and ages. <laughs> and turned out and then... Yeah. One day, her mother said, her my mother said, it's time, time you got, got married. married. Yeah. So I said, what for? That's what I said, because it's <laughs> yeah. about time you got married. So I said, well, and it was about January time. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I turned around and I said, I can't get married. I said, where are we going to live? So she said, you could have my front room. Mm, yeah. Oh, so, all right, fair enough. Because you've got no chance of getting a house then, see? No. And so, we said, oh, well, if we're going to get married, I want my tax back, I'll turn in. Yeah. So I got married at Easter <laughs> to get me a bit of tax back. Yeah. So anyway, I'll turn in. We hadn't got a penny to our name, not a penny. Yeah. So we turned around and uh, we saved. I mm. say, so, me, me Betsy turned around. She turned out and got her dresses made, mm -hmm. and a friend of mine made the cake. Mm -hmm. Somebody else did this. A friend of mine put a barrel of beer and 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 a, and a port on uh -huh. for me. Yeah. And turned out, and we got married on Easter Monday. Mm. And turned out, and Easter Saturday, right? Yeah. And turned out, and then turned out. Everything went off. Well, it snowed that day. Grief. I tell you, we came out, we had mm -hmm. it on the parade at a place called the Berkeley Restaurant. So, I mean, we didn't do too bad. No. Out of having nothing. And we saved and saved. Hmm. And turned around and, anyway, that yeah. was it. We was broken. <laughs> we thought, oh, well, the week afterwards, we never had no money moon. No. We'd have to go back to work. <laughs> so... We turned around and went down to the pub where the man done me beer. Yeah. Said, well, we're going to have half a pint. We're going off for half a pint. 
Oh, we went in there, we were sipping this half pint each. <laughs> Look at it last. Yes. Yeah. Right. And he came up and he said, Here, yeah, Bill, some money for you. He oh. said there was some beer left in the barrel. Oh, right. <laughs> nice, thank you very much. So yeah. we turned out we had a nice night then. Uh, yeah, I'll bet, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. That's at the start of how I got married, and then it turned out. And then mm. my own daughter came along yeah. about a year afterwards mm -hmm. and turned around Linda and then I got her house. You did, so yeah. We moved into a council house and mm -hmm. turned around and I've been in that house now all the time. I'm still in that house now. Are you really? Yeah? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'll turn around. I think um, people of like your, uh, your generation, mine, so I'll lump them together. Uh, don't move around that much. No, well, I haven't done. But then, but the younger ones do. Do every three or four years, they'll they'll up and move somewhere else. Well, my old brother, uh -huh. he turned around. He, he was always on the move. Was he? Yeah. yeah. And I turned around. No, not me. I. No. I you had nothing moving I, about. I wanted to move. <laughs> yeah. And the kids said no. Oh. I was all right at school. They didn't want to go. No. So we stayed there, and that's uh -huh. where I stayed. Yeah. And I've been in that house 63 years. Yeah, I thought you'd want to move now, do you? <laughs> no, I mean, I turn around, mm. when came the right to buy, Oh yeah. yeah. I turn around and I bought it. Yeah. So we, you know, I only give 6,000 well, whatever something yeah. for it. Uh -huh. so it yeah. doesn't know me anything. No. No, because I, uh, uh, I wasn't going to buy it in the first place. No. Thought, oh, no. But the massive discounts that were given. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you might just as well. Yeah, so. Yeah. Anyway, I bought it, and uh -huh. I think when I retired, mm. it was the best thing I ever did because yeah. I didn't have to pay rent. No, or well, exactly. You know, there was no outgoings I'd, as such. I'd got enough money to yeah. uh, off my pension uh -huh. to pay it off. Yeah. So it didn't give me any extra to play with. No. But I paid the house off, and that turned out mm. yeah. it living a lot easier. Mm. Yeah, but, um, from yeah. there, like you know, but the, 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 we had holidays and now yeah. and again, and uh -huh. the wife worked while well, she didn't have children, and then mm. I always worked. Yeah, we used to share the chores. Did you? Yeah, you know, I turn yeah. and I used to come mm -hmm. home before her, and I'd have the meal on the table for when she came home and the children come home. Mm -hmm. They washed up and I sat down there. And you know, and that's yeah. how life was. We, that's right, we pulled together, we never had no argument. So no. We fell out probably down and again. Yeah, yeah, you as you words, do. But <laughs> yeah. We never turned around and fell out. No, as such as, no not, not forever. No, sorry. they turned around. Yeah. They turned around. Yeah. She used to say to me, you, <laughs> you're laughing. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Right. Yeah. We're at it again. Well, so what do you want me to do? <laughs> yeah. Of course, and I never worried. I turned around and said, well, she used to worry about money. And she, yeah. yeah and I, I didn't. No. I turned around and I got to a stage and said, well, if they want money, if I've got it, they can have it. Yeah. If I ain't got it, they can't have it. That's right. So why should I worry myself about paying it? That's very true. If oh, I yes. got it, I'll pay it. Mm. But I, I didn't know nobody. I turned out. No. I lived between my means and mm. all was up. Yeah. And uh -huh. I think, you know, it turned out with that. Mm. I think a good philosophy in life and turn yeah. out and get on well with your neighbours, mm -hmm. your fellow man, and That's right. turn out yeah. and are you doing a lot of charity work. Mm -hmm. you, and turn and my kids enjoyed it. Mm. And you know, I turn and I, all right, I don't suffer good health now, but no. I've had a good life and I don't regret it. <laughs> I don't regret a thing I did. No. You know, because mm. I've been out and I've enjoyed life. Yeah. That and I, we enjoyed life. We've seen That's, yeah. life together, but mm. when she started to suffer and then she passed away, I had no uh -huh. regrets. Because no, no. You know, and she, she yeah, do, do, do always with that. me. She's never left me thoughts. But mm. you know, I turn out and I don't cry about it. No, because it's happy release for her, and oh, is it? yeah, and happy release for her. Because uh -huh. if I'd have died before her, 
Yeah. Oh, she wouldn't have coped. No. No. Uh, so I looked it? after her like, uh -huh. yeah. you know, with uh, mm -hmm. everything. I did everything for her. Yeah. Well, that's what yeah. married life's all about. Well, it is really, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Uh, never yeah. anything was that small. Mm -hmm. You know, well, it was always ours. Uh -huh. Not yours or mine. It's ours. It's yeah. ours. Yeah, shared. You know, like a lot of people say, that's mine. <laughs> you know, turn and, mm. because I think they earn money, they think, <laughs> you know, everything is there. But we never, we've shared, we've come uh, from yeah. poor to a better life. And, and, and we've enjoyed life. Yes. We've turned and, uh -huh. we've been abroad three or four times, you know, yeah. and yeah. enjoyed holidays abroad. Mm. And, yeah. We never thought we'd ever do. No. But, uh, we had holidays in England, mm. camping, caravanning. Yeah, she yeah. wouldn't go camping when she was oh. young. It wasn't until she was older. <laughs> we went camping. Yeah. What's it all those years? Ooh, could have been, been yeah. out there enjoying it. <laughs> no, we yeah. always had a caravan. And oh, did it? Yeah. 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 On a site like it, you know, I uh, Well, yeah. Never towed yeah. one. No. I don't see a point in that. No, really. Okay. I don't get involved in politics. You know. They are above. If they want to get into it, they get into it. But that's not my problem. I've got no problem with the Russian people whatsoever. You know. I don't think they have with us, really. The ordinary working class people. Yeah. I think it's it's nice in some respects. I'm grateful for what I have and grateful for what I do. And if that's where my course of life took me, and so there's nothing that could change it. And I wouldn't change it. For something else. Because I've I enjoyed what I did. I enjoyed serving in the Navy. I would say I enjoyed all the Russian convoy, but I didn't hate them. They just came as a job. As a job of work and, and you say you took it as a job of work. But, uh, I think well I know the reason why. Because they're so grateful, but we're so grateful. You know, we turn and we, to look after us now like they do is very appreciable. I appreciate that more than anything because it's nice. It really is nice. That's why yes. I enjoy going to the May Day celebrations because it really is. A nice day out and a friendly day out. And last time, with the music and the dancing and everything going on in the park, I thought it was great. The only fortunate thing is we had to dash away quick to get the train back home. Else usually we've stayed overnight, like. Uh, but the hotels are all full up, so we could stay nowhere. So we came up, Phil brought me up for the day, and we turned around and had a taxi, and then we had a taxi back around with Park and to the station. But it was a beautiful day. Uh, it's, it's a lot to take in and remember and be thankful for because it shows the appreciation that you get, and it's very warming. Sometimes it's a bit embarrassing. You know, everybody turned around, you know, because it's, you didn't do it for that. You did it because you had to, I suppose. But uh, for people to love you is, is great. Something you can't buy. Friendship, you can't buy friendship. No matter how much you try, no matter how much money you got, you can't buy friendship. It has to come. It has to come from the heart. <laughs>